What's up, everybody? It is Luke Bella with the Sideline Scoop. So today, I'm going to be breaking down Darius Shepard, Packers wide receiver. He's a guy who isn't really talked about as much considering, you know, he's super far down on the depth chart. It's not even, you know, for sure if he'll make the team. He could get, you know, he might not make a 53-man roster when it comes to, you know, 2020. But I sort of want to break down sort of how he's looked recently in training camps, the reports that have basically come out, and sort of go through, you know, what could be possible when it comes to 2020 for him. So as most of you, you know, might know, might not remember, I don't know, but he was came in last year. He was 20, in 2019. He was an undrafted rookie out of North Dakota State. Unfortunately, his moment of fame, you know, when he got onto that center stage in October versus Detroit, he returned a punt, and unfortunately, he muffed it. And um, the Lions got the ball, kicked the field goal, tied things up. I think the Packers ended up coming back, but it was a pretty, it was a pretty bad sequence of events. He also um, was trying to receive a pass on the goal line. I think he slipped. It like hit the ball, hit his face mask. I'm pretty sure hit something on his body, and then he was intercepted. And so, you know, those two mistakes really hurt him. You know, in prime time, and um, a few days later, he was cut from the Packers. Luckily, though, for him, the Packers decided to come back and sign him to the practice squad. Um, so obviously they still, you know, believed in him, believed that he had something inside of him that, you know, could maybe, you know, come to life in the future. But, you know, having big mistakes like that on center stage, you know, especially two mistakes, missing a punt and sort of, you know, muffing a ball or, you know, whatever, not receiving a ball well and having it intercepted, two of those mistakes cost him, you know, being on the Packers roster. So for Darius Shepard, he's sort of fighting for a roster spot with some of the other wide receivers with the two Maliks. I always mess their names up, sorry, but there's two Maliks, two of them. He's fighting with the roster spot for them with Jake Kumaro, I don't know, with Equinemius St. Brown, with Reggie uh, Begleton. So I, who knows if he'll actually make it. But good news for him, on Sunday, he had a great day in training camp, apparently. He got four of seven targets uh, for a team high 89, 84 yards. He wasn't catching balls from Aaron Rodgers. He was catching balls from Tim Boyle and uh, Jordan Love. But he had a 21-yard touchdown catch. He had a 16-yard catch, a 9-yard catch, and a 34-yard catch. So he showed up very much so on Sunday. So I don't know if that will be enough to, you know, to give him a roster spot considering, you know, the Packers have so many wide receivers coming into 2020. Um, who knows if he'll actually get a roster spot. But if we take a look at sort of what he had to say. So he said, after that game, I faced a lot of adversity personally, and I just had to overcome it. Taking the offseason just to grow and come back and be confident in my play and myself. I'm excited to show what I do in practice on the game field, hopefully. So coming into 2020, he's hoping that he can overcome those mistakes, that people can look past those, that people can sort of focus on, you know, sort of what he has to offer, considering he did well on Sunday, you know, maybe he has a chance. So now if we take a look at what Matt LaFleur had to say, the guy who, you know, sort of in charge, you know, the head coach, who sort of has a lot to say whether um, or not Darius Shepard will make the actual roster. So I think it's important to take a look at, you know, what, what LaFleur had to say. So he says, Shep's done an outstanding job. I think he's again showed up consistently separating and has caught the ball pretty well for the most part. I know there's a couple of plays here and there, just like every guy, that they'd always like to have back. One thing you know about Shep is he go he's going to prepare to the best of his ability, and he's been able to take what he knows from the classroom and put it on the field. So, you know, that seems like some pretty uh, positive news from, um, or positive words from Matt LaFleur. So that, you know, that couldn't hurt Shepard. But again, considering there are so many wide receivers on this Packers roster, it's going to be tough for him to make the, to, you know, to take this final roster spot. But maybe considering he showed up well in the past few uh, past few practices, ugh. so maybe because he showed up well in the past few practices of training camp, maybe he will get this roster spot. Um, no matter what, wish you the best of luck, Shepard. And who knows, maybe if he doesn't make the roster, he'll be on the practice squad again, and maybe he'll work his way up eventually if he doesn't make the roster this season. So that is going to be all for this video. I would just ask if you guys would like the video down below if you got some value from it. It boosts this, you know, the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm that, you know, brings in views. I don't really know exactly how it works all the time, but apparently when people like the videos, it just like pumps out, you know? So if you guys want to help me out, you know, feel free to like it down below. And if you want to see some more Packers content in the future, also, you know, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications so when the video comes out, you just get notified right away. Um, so that's going to be all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go Pack Go. See you tomorrow.